Did you know that the Earth's seven continent was once mixed up to one supercontinent? If you ever heard that, yep, it's true. And it was called the Pangaea. It occurred hundreds of million years ago. Then as years pass by, it moves until it reaches what it forms today. And also, our country. This movement also caused landforms such as volcanoes, mountains, and others to form. But how? How did this land move? Let's go back in time in the era of Sanjay. Alfred Wegener introduced the Continental Drift Theory in which the continents that we have right now are moving over a geologic time. This explains the formation of the seven continents from Pangaea. This theory also states that the continents now are still currently moving, even reaches a point that it will form another supercontinent. But how can this happen? What are the factors that support this theory? There are a lot of proofs. This leads us to the plate tectonic theory. In this theory, it states that the Earth's crust is divided into tectonic plates, and these tectonic plates are floating in the magma. The movement of these plates depends on the movement of the magma. But how? Let's dig into the center of the Earth. There is a core which consists of two parts. The inner core is a solid part which is extremely hot, while the outer core has a fluid-like texture. Both are mostly made up of iron and nickel. Now this core produces a massive amount of heat that transfers to the magma in the mantle. Now imagine boiling a water. The moment it reaches its boiling point, the heated water is starting to rise up, and this creates a powerful current. This is just same to what's happening to core and mantle. The core will act as a stove and the magma is the water that creates a current. And this current is the reason why plate tectonics move. This theory is called convection theory. The distances between these plates are called plate boundaries. There are type of boundaries, divergent, convergent, and transform. Divergent boundaries occurs when two plates are going away from each other. Convergent boundaries occurs when two plates go against each other. These boundaries creates a subduction zone, wherein the denser plate goes under while the lighter plate stays afloat. Transfer boundaries occur when two plates are traveling in an opposite direction. These boundaries are the reasons for the occurring earthquakes and the formation of landforms. Also, a landform can also be formed when two plates collide each other. The fact that the Earth right now is still currently creates landforms supports Wegener's theory. We can support Wegener's theory with this idea through by providing that tectonic plates are currently moving and reforms the Earth. What else more can we add? Another proof that we can add is the fossil distribution. Here is the illustration that will make you understand the fossil distribution. This illustration shows the area where such fossils are located. For example, in this area, the fossils of Sinonathus are located. Now in its case, its fossils are located in South America and South Africa. The presence of the two same identical fossils in two different and far locations only prove they live in the same habitat and possibly the same place. Justify that these places were once close to each other which explains the existence of Pangea.